Chart update, 4th April 2020. Important, please also watch the critical government killer video. With apologies, we managed to skip the USA Quartet, South America Africa Quartet, the Russia Quartet and the Australia Quartet. Basically, brain failure on a massive scale. Our original 4th April chart update has been taken down. This presentation duly includes the full set of charts. We have separated out a critical video in which we provide the smoking gun which proves that the UK government and by extension the US government had the capacity to realise long before the UK lockdown that the Italy, Germany, Sweden and UK curves were all decelerating and that the crisis was therefore over. The contagion would continue but would play out at levels of only modest deaths in our societies. Far from choosing to use this information to reassure the people and provide accurate estimates, they chose instead to pluck a number out of thin air designed to scare us into lockdown and it worked. We were told to expect 530,000 deaths in the UK and 2.2 million deaths in the US and we've already shown those figures to be entirely manufactured. The virus is real but what governments have done with it is an abuse of power so extreme and entirely deliberate that they do not deserve to exist. The pretense of serving us is utterly discredited. However, we leave that to the viewer to reflect upon after seeing the separate government killer video. Here we will focus on informing you, as we do every three days, as to the progress of the virus in now 43 countries by request. Strictly, that's 42 since, for reasons unknown, Taiwan's data does not appear in the World Health Organization daily situation reports. At least, I certainly was unable to spot it. Feel free to correct me if I was wrong. Bing insists the data is there and has a reference to World Health Organization. If anyone spots what I'm missing, do feel free to let me know at andrewpeerlessreads.com. This is a linear chart, and even that is showing curl over, and at 350 cases in a population of 23.6 million, I'd have to rate that as a minor issue to say the least. I'll transpose the data from this chart, and it will be the only country where I'm not knowingly using the World Health Organization daily situation reports. Likewise, if you'd like your country to be covered, or you ask for it to be covered, then simply make a request in the comments or via email to andrewpeerlessreads.com. If you did make such a request and you don't see it here today, then make it again. Every request is by default honoured. I understand how important this could be for you, and am glad if this analysis helps. We have a lot of new data and charts illustrating cases per day to show peak, an acceleration, deceleration curl over, but time is passing and I want you to have this update today, so I'll focus solely on the standard charts and release the novel charts separately. The two new classes of chart, just to give you a sense of what they are, are firstly one that measures the growth rate of cases. The entirely discredited exponential meme would be a horizontal line as we'll show. Instead, every country shows a consistent declining growth rate after an initial burst of acceleration. The second class of chart is the new cases daily, or in our cases quoted as a daily figure, but updated every three days. It's an obvious chart to show, but before now it's been too messy and distracting when the total cases gives a much simpler view. However, with countries now approaching peak, it's timely to extend our coverage to include that. As noted, we won't be including them in this update, nor the acceleration charts, but expect a video with the extended perspective shortly. For now, let's look at the standard cumulative, i.e. total cases to date, charts. So here's our standard charts where we're watching cases rising, but tapering off as the contagions diminish. We'll start, as usual, with the most developed contagion, Italy. Hunan, a lightly hit province, slipped in there, for which I apologise, but it allows me to point out the China lied myth. Hubei got hit hard and we're all emulating Hubei. Though when I say hit hard, that's 3,085 deaths in 59 million people, a couple of days deaths in the UK. Hunan may indeed have been spared by lockdown, but Hubei was not. If China had lied and reported Hunan level figures for Hubei, we'd all be well past it instead of only Italy actually moving past Hubei in intensity 
as it completes its virus experience. As ever, Italy green is mature, Norway looks excellent, nearly done. Sweden is disappointing, going linear when it was doing so well. Germany looks to be finishing as well, certainly showing nothing to alarm, and the UK, despite lockdown working, is tracking our pre-lockdown projection perfectly. Funny that. Italy, Sweden, Norway and Germany projections are based from the latest data point. The UK projection is anchored at the 26th March data point. In theory, lockdown should dramatically reduce our progress and curve, so if it doesn't, that won't say much for lockdown, will it? At this stage, given how well developed the UK was, curve was along with the others here, we don't expect the lockdown to save more than a few hundred lives. That's a hell of a price to pay in terms of destruction of lives, livelihoods, economy, liberty, for a fraction of a day's normal deaths. We'll have to see how it turns out, and we'll do the final calculation once the contagion is clearly over in the UK. As before, I'll go full screen with charts for a second or two, for screenshots if you want them. Note the slide numbers we've introduced at bottom left so that you can make a note of the slide number for your country or chart of interest. Iran red, Iraq pale blue and India darker blue are all linear, which means constant growth on a log chart, with no pronounced curlover. Disappointing after early good results for Iran and Iraq. Pakistan, gold down the bottom, has a nicely developing curlover and we'll see that confirmed in the growth deceleration charts when I publish that video. Ireland, khaki, Spain, sand, France, mid blue, Belgium, light blue, all show distinct curvature but their angles are still quite high and Spain is shooting through even Italy. Not good. South Korea shows a curve like Hubei, entirely finished at a level considerably below Hubei. Will someone be accusing South Korea of lying? I somehow doubt it. Japan continues its inexorable and shallow climb. On the one hand, their cases are low, but they won't stay low unless they start to curl over. An extended climb to Hubei levels is the worst of both worlds. Philippines is heading higher at a linear, log-linear rate, no apparent curl over. Again, we'd like to see that curl over, but they're still well below Hubei at the moment. Thailand finally has some good news. That looks to be flattening nicely. Unsurprisingly, these curves all have long histories relatively similar to that of China. Greece, lower pale orange, my bad for poor color choice, has reasonable numbers but is linear in log terms do please bend over. Turkey is finally looking better, provided it continues to curl over. With that high rate of climb, it was worrying. Netherlands, the colour of hash, inadvertent, looks mature and orderly with good curl over. Malta, pale grey, what was I thinking, looks great. A slight concern with a recent linear section. Tiny caveat to watch there, but overall a good mature curve. Finland, pale blue, looks good, nice smooth curl over. Portugal, dark blue, curling over, but only recently and about to pass through Hubei. Pity, but not alarming. Switzerland, red, is, like Spain, a surprising disappointment. I'll be very careful to check those figures, but that adds two European countries that have blown through Hubei. It's not by any means support for the China lied nonsense. Switzerland is curling over, but will even exceed Italy in cases per 100 million, but likely with a far lower death rate. Denmark is so strongly kinked, nothing to do with porn, that I can't help wondering if they had a lockdown imposed, or again I'll have to be very careful to double check those numbers. Also it's very linear and has been for some data points now. It too is going to match Hubei at least, a very shallow growth but still, another country that needs to bend over.
we now have Indonesia and are using Bing for the Taiwan data that I can't spot on World Health Organization daily situation reports. Excellent choices, thank you. Taiwan is essentially flat at 100 times better level, these are log scales recall, than Hubei or Italy. Not much to concern there. Indonesia should go in a gallery as an art form. It's such an elegant demonstration of a virus progression with almost divine curlover. And barring deflection or relapse, it's going to end up barely at the overall China level and not go anywhere near Hubei. Bravo, Indonesia. That's it. We do an update every three days, so the next update will be for 7th April data, typically available late UK time. By the time I've done the charts and prepped the video, it should be up the day after, 8th of April. Here's the US and Canada, still determined not to curl over, and headed for Hubei. Any time now, guys, please. And please watch Government Killer. The US has the same deadly WMD virus as us. Israel finally looking good, just in time. Might match rather than exceeding Hubei. Brazil climbing hard, but hint of curl. Undone in the last data point. Mexico looking reasonable. Ecuador shaky in the middle. Had curl over, now accelerating or linear. Exponential on a log scale. Kind of wobbly, let's hope it curls over again, definitively shortly. South Africa, you've nailed it. Don't relapse. Bry time, fellas. Algeria, ouch, climbing hard, but from a low level. Singapore, it's like a different world, almost dreamy. Climbing so gently, but it's still climbing. Vietnam looks amazing, provided that's curl over. It's so flat, it's hard to tell. Oz, looks like you've got a fine case of curl over. Nail it now and you're well below Hubei. New Zealand is looking excellent, but what's being done in the name of the virus is shameful. Mother Russia, ouch. Climbing hard, still not even at China, but like to see you do better. Poland, genteel curl over, hint of straight that's disturbing, but only just passing China as well. Croatia, gold, gold star. Nailed it, if you go flat in the next couple of data points. Hungary, flirting with curl over several times, but always straightening. Only just at China, though, which is good. Overall, excellent barring countries, we noted, with two key exceptions. US and Canada. You seem determined to have the worst of both worlds. Massive damage to society, with a full... Hubei level contagion. Government killer. Go watch. What can I say? That's it. We do an update every three days, so the next update will be for 7th of April data, typically available late UK time. By the time I've done the charts and prepped the video, it should be up the day after 8th April. Let us know if your country isn't included. It's not like we like typing in data, but if you've taken the trouble to watch, I'll be honoured to keep you up to date. Just send us a request by email, better, or post a comment. I try to check in. Thank you for listening or watching. I'm Andrew May, a 60-year-old Brit, mathematician, financier, technologist, husband, biker, pilot, healer, whatever. Bunch of stuff. Take care. Feel free to get in touch. Andrew at peerlessreads.com or andrew at amather.com. Either should get to me.